Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm Kay, and I am here on my new Tennessee property of over nine acres, which is about half wooded, and I am developing the remainder of the property into a sustainable homestead. Got big plans for this place. If you've been watching, you know we just put down a massive silage tarp to create a garden down below. I've got a massive front yard. Fortunately, I have a wonderful employee now, Justin, who is my right-hand man. I wanna be able to grow a lot of food. No time is more important to be growing your own food, thinking about that and participating in that in some way, learning how to do it than right now. They're talking about food shortages and we have to be prepared. So I can't wait till next year to do this or to do that. I really wanna do everything right now. Fortunately, I've got good help. And another way that we are going to get more done in the same amount of time, I purchased a used four-wheeler. Justin found it online. He went and got it, checked it out. That is going to really make a lot more things possible. Yes, I took the four-wheeler for a little joyride, but basically that will be Justin's mode of transportation around this property. It can go all through the woods. It can zip back and forth to the front. Right now, Justin is down putting the numbers on the new mailbox. Of course, I had it painted my favorite color, which is red. And <laughs> we are going to be planting down front. So we're gonna be loading up the four-wheeler in the new dump trailer that I bought, get everything, and we can just zip it down there and get the jobs done so much faster. So stay tuned. Hi there. I am very excited about the new dump trailer. This is Brindley and it has been made in the U.S. since 1839. And you know how I love products made in the U.S. So we're going to be loading that up with everything that we need. Hopefully we won't forget anything and going down and just knocking this job out. But first let's check on Justin down at the mailbox. he's working in the shade it's very hard to see him from here in the afternoon you can see the red mailbox very clearly if you recall everything beyond the cistern was solid forest quite a bit of that got cut back and I'm hoping to be able to grow a meadow with wildflowers, moringa, hibiscus, and many other things over there. I've got a little elm and a little walnut tree down there. And behind that, I'm gonna plant a row of moringa seeds. Would it help if I helped you? What's that? Do you need help? No, I don't need help. Okay. So right now, Justin is putting on the final touches of our blueberry enclosure, where we also planted the snap peas right down the middle. It is so amazing to water my plants with rainwater. Okay, here are some nice cherry bell radishes, but these were not developed. I've never had luck putting these back in the ground, but I'm gonna give it a try.
That's just out of this one. <laughs> wow. Okay, we've got four radishes and quite a bit of beautiful strawberries. I can definitely make something out of these. Okay, so we are down in the lower yard and it looks like the six fruit trees behind me are alive and well. <laughs> the cannas on this side are doing pretty well. We're gonna plant some more canna bulbs and these four plants, I cannot remember the name, but I'll get that for you. These four plants, uh, we're not exactly sure because everything changed over here. Okay, we are moving right along. Justin has moved the cedar tree, which was over here, which got hit by a pickup truck uh, coming in and out. Not mine. <laughs> Move that over there so we have five. You know, in nature, odd numbers are more natural than even numbers. So we have five cedar trees and we have cannas growing in between each tree. I would put more stuff here, but this tree may suck up all the water and that may be why a couple of these little cedar trees died. So we're pushing over to the new area that's been cleared and we're going to plant these four bushes over on the corner, make a nice colorful corner there, something to replace all that foliage that was there that got hacked down. And if the if the particular hole doesn't work, you can move the oh. yeah.
Okay, that's all for today. Justin has left early. He's going to be seeing family this weekend. We got those projects done, but so much more to do. So I hope you'll subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. Scroll down and hit all so you won't miss anything right here on my new Tennessee homestead. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.